This is the play for Dream. On first impressions, this is very nice looking. <laughs> and going over some of the specs will take way too long, so you can pause here and take a look. It's not very heavy at all. It's built really well. The controllers themselves feel very familiar as far as like the layout, the weight. I would say that these maybe are a little bit lighter. The joysticks all feel pretty similar as to what you would expect. Unfortunately for me, I have to wear this a little bit higher so that I can get the perfect angle here because like I'm not able to actually rotate the headset up and down. The colors pop so much more on this headset than anything else that I've used before. Mixed reality, the darks are really rich and, and deep, but the image quality and sharpness is a little noisier than I would like it to be. They do have a PC VR streaming solution, but you can actually sideload Steam Link. It looks so good <laughs> as far as the, the sharpness of things. There's absolutely no screen door effect. Even if I bring my hands really close, the colors, I keep coming back to that. The OLED displays really make all of the difference in color. I haven't had a problem with the inside out tracking at all, but the battery drains super quickly. So I'm gonna be doing a lot more tests with the Play for Dream and trying out different things. So if you have any questions about the headset or how it works, please let me know in the comments below and I'll try my best to get to them. I'll see you next time in virtual reality. Peace.